And this is Hibikster from SNKCapcom.com, and here we are with uh, Mr. Quotes. Mr. Quotes, thank you for joining us. No problem. Glad to be here. Awesome. Uh, I just got a couple of questions for you. Um, how long have you been in the scene for, and how long have you been basically helping the local scene grow? Um, I entered the scene in 2003, well, ended 2002, when I came into college my first year, mm -hmm. Tekken 4. Uh, I got me into the fighting game scene. I didn't really get deep into it until I started playing Third Strike uh, later that year, and then that's when I really started traveling. I went to Evo 2004, 2005, traveled to Virginia, uh, Boston, now Toronto, so nice. you know, it's even taking me as far as Japan. So. And how are, how are you placing in, the, in Third Strike? Third you know, I dare 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 for me to say I consider myself one of the high, higher level players for a few years. Mm -hmm. I placed uh, second at NEC 2004, top eight a couple of times at NEC. I don't know the exact years. I got fourth in the Virginia major. Um, I got a lot of second place finishes, like uh, two in New York. One in Massachusetts. I won some locals, so you know I was pretty good. I was pretty good. I would say I was like you know at the at the top top, but I was like nice. you know mid top. Third strike isn't really an easy game to grasp because there's a lot of yeah. things that you need to it's, learn. It's Very a game specific. that's this game that's uh, hard. It's easy to learn, hard to learn, and easy to hate. So there's a the reason this game gets a lot of hate. Even the people that play the game didn't right. like it. Right. Right. Uh, so, do you specialize in any other fighting games then? Um, currently, I was in Tekken, and so that kind of you know dwindled after DR. Mm -hmm. the, I just kind of stuck around with Third Strike. Got into, I played pretty much anything. I was trying, to, I was doing my best to get into Guilty Gear. That kind of you know fizzled when the game died. Mm -hmm. uh, played the mainstream game Street Fighter Four. Didn't get really into it till Super. Kind of, you know, lost interest in AE because I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Marvel is my main concentration, nice. and I really like that game. And you know, it, se it, it seems like you diversify in several fighting games now. Uh, being an SNK website, I'm, this is the inevitable. King of Fighters 13. Okay. What are your impressions of the game? Have you tried the arcade? Have you played around with any of the log tests? Are you a fan? I played the game once at next level, uh, arcade mode. I actually do. I have played King of Fighters. I was actually a pretty big fan of 2002. Okay. Uh, third Strike player, old top Third Strike player, KOF got me into that game. Nice. I was never good at 2002, but it was fun. 2003 and 11 were like, didn't, they they kind of drew me away. Right. 13 was, I you know 13 lo looks great. Right. It's it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I I would I wouldn't mind trying to play it. Uh, I would just hope that you know they keep. If there's a scene that grows, mm -hmm. I would do my best to you know participate and enter and stuff. Excellent. So uh, tell me more about Eight on the Break. How long have you been running it for, and what are your future goals and ambitions? For? Uh, honestly, I don't run Eight on the Break. Um, oh. I'm a part of Eight on the Break. I do the commentary for the stream, which is Jaxel's stream, mm -hmm. AWayRun.com. Okay. Uh, he specializes in Soul Calibur mainly, but when we when it started out that you know streams became popular, right? And Jaxel always streamed a lot of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. He decided to start uh, streaming Street Fighter and Marvel eventually when that came out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he got into that. I jumped on commentary because, you know, I wanted to be part of it. Right. And I guess the reason why I thought you were the one who ran it because you, you were basically the face of it. So. Uh, in, in general, like on commentary. The fa I'm the voice of I guess I can say I'm the voice of it. Yeah. Face of it is, you know, whatever. Uh, it's not my tournament, to be honest, but mm -hmm. I always do my best to keep it entertaining and to, you know, people shout before I try to, you know, Greet them and meet them, mm -hmm. talk to them, keep them, make them feel like, you know, a part of it. Where do you think Eight on the Break is going, say, in the next year, next couple of years or so? You know, uh, right now, because of the announcement of our, uh, 2012 and Ultimate, it's yeah. really, it's, it's dwindling pretty hard. Numbers are not even breaking 20s for either game at the moment. Oh, wow. Uh, once, they, once Ultimate and 2012 come out, it'll be back again. Uh, it, relies, it relies not just on... Uh, the local people, but Philly and New York, they're also a big part of it when they come out and travel. Right. And they bring a lot of the, the hype and a lot of the, you know, a lot of the craziness. If you've seen, probably seen that one video, just the pop-off of all centuries and the break. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think that may have put it on the map more than anything. Yeah. As, uh, as, 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 as controversial up, as, as it was. As messed up as it is, best thing that ever happened. Best thing that ever happened. <laughs>
Wow. Yeah, and Noel, you know, Noel's also, I, I consider him a friend, so, you know. Right. Hey, I'm cool with all of them. Things happen. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, any other, any final thoughts, any shout outs you'd like to make? Uh, I want to thank Kill Cam definitely because he's the one that pretty much sponsored me to come up here. I would not have been able to come up here without him. He got me the plane ticket to Buffalo and drove me up to the to venue. Mm-hmm. Got me, you know, just covered me in travel expenses in, in every way. Excellent. Uh, I really enjoy it here. I'm, uh, Canada is something I want to come back to. I'm a really big hockey fan, so I just came from the, the Hall of Fame. Beautiful. And what? that was the best. I was. I couldn't stay there for long, but it was really the best time ever. Oh, yeah. What team? Uh, Devils. Devils? Devils, nice. absolutely. All the way. Yeah, so <laughs> this coming to Toronto was great. I was looking forward to it. I was so happy to know that we were only a mile away from the Hall of Fame. So this is like... Like it's complete. The trip is complete now that I just came from the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't get top eight at Marvel, but you know what? The you know what? I Hall of Fame makes up for it. It definitely makes up for it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining no us, problem, my man. friend. Thank I you. truly appreciate your time. We would love to have you for more events in the future. Hey, man. If I, and I would love to come back. Excellent, man. Thank you so much again. This is Hivixter signing off from SNKCapcom.com.